This was interesting, which it's, I didn't catch when I was a kid. I did okay. not catch it when I was a kid. You can run this whole park from this room with minimal staff for up to three days. Impressive. I'm totally unappreciated in my time. You right. know anybody who can network eight connection machines and debug two million lines of code for what I bid for this job? Uh -huh. Sorry about your financial problems, Dennis. I really am, but they are your problems. Oh, problem. I will not get drawn into another <laughs> financial debate with you, Dennis. I'm hardly any debate at all. I don't blame people for their mistakes, but I do ask that they pay for them. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> so... Nedry's having financial problems and Hammond isn't helping him at all. Which, if he was an, if Nedry was, an ascent, was not an essential person in Jurassic Park, he'd just get the next guy up. But Nedry's irreplaceable. That's right. So doesn't Hammond have to pay up and not be a cheapskate here? What's going on? That's right. Yeah, yeah. And so Hammond, the CEO, he should really build the right management team mm -hmm. so that he doesn't get cornered in a situation like this. Right, right now, Nedry has control of the entire park. That's right. So he really could demand any salary he wanted. I mean, but on the other hand, he bid for this job. So like he offered, I can do this job for the lowest offer. Mm -hmm. And then Hammond took the lowest offer. At the same time, if Nedry is that competent and that essential, I mean, everything's a negotiation. I mean, also so, just take care of him. Like take care if, of him. Yeah. If, if he gets your park up and running, then that should be worth the dollar value. Hey, that's right. If you start penny pinching people and like, well, trust in the contract here, buddy, yeah, then yeah. it could cause animosity when you start lawyering your own employees. Well, it, it, it causes Nedry to go through corporate espionage and right. he sells out. He sells out, which causes right. this whole thing. Yeah. And if it wasn't for Nedry, would Jurassic Park have failed? There, there are some bumps and along the road, but I think they got it together. Mm -hmm. I think they would have been okay. And so, yeah. So anything new like this, like Jurassic Park, which is like a zoo amusement park thing, would have all kinds of problems. Yeah, reasonable. But I don't think it would have completely failed if Nedry hadn't done his corporate espionage. Right. And this is all caused by Hammond being a cheapskate. It's weird because he's like sunk like billions of dollars and then he's like cheaping out on a little bit of salaries. Right. Weird. Yeah, weird. Salaries and safety stuff in the visitor center. Like, but you've already you've already bought an island. <laughs> like, yeah, that's right. That's right. Put some money the, into the visitor center. 